23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. Good evening, I'm Jessica Harrington. Here's what's making headlines around Kern County. Tomorrow, the Special Olympics torch will come through Kern County as it makes its way south. The run will begin at 9 a.m. at Mercy Downtown Bakersfield before going to the Liberty Bell on Truxton Avenue. It'll be escorted through Delano, Bakersfield, Arvin, Tehachapi, Ridgecrest, and Cal City. The run is the largest public awareness fundraiser with more than 3,500 officers in Southern California taking part. Chipotle will be giving away $1 million worth of free food during the NBA Finals, spreading a little human kindness and burritos across the country. The Toronto Raptors will be taking on the defending champs, the Golden State Warriors, tomorrow. And every time an announcer, commentator, or sideline reporter says the word free, Chipotle will tweet out a code that's good for a chance to win a free burrito or bowl. 500 burritos will be given out during the first half of each game, and in the second half, they'll give out 1,000. Game 1 starts tomorrow at 5.30. Today, the 9th Annual Tehachapi Intermediate Space Challenge lifted off with more than 700 Tehachapi 4th and 5th grade students participating. The students presented their classroom-made rockets at the Tehachapi Airport today. 26 classrooms cheered on their projects one by one before watching their rocket take off. The event is held by the Art, Science and Technology Educational Corporation of Tehachapi. The program is also working on a similar STEM event for high school students in the near future. Thankfully, we were, we were seeing clear skies for that rocket launch today, and that's going to be the trend as we head into the rest of the weekend. Temperatures are actually going to be warming up just slightly from what we were feeling today, so that means we will be above seasonal for your Thursday and Friday. But as we head into Friday afternoon, we are tracking our next storm that is going to be making its way into the region, bringing a chance for some afternoon thunderstorms across the county. The best chance to see those is actually going to be in our mountain communities. Then we will be drying out as we head into June 1st and temperatures could be nearing the triple digits by this time next week. That's your latest news and weather update. For the latest news anytime, be sure to log on to our website, turn to 23.com.